Hey everybody, it's Kevin and I'm going to show you how to remove light flicker and change this to this in OBS and stuff. I use this streaming service, you may have heard of it, it's called Twitch. It's somewhat halfway decent on a realistic level. I edit live there and answer questions. There's Instagram, I'll post there eventually, and Twitter, I'll comment on random posts sometimes. So for this tutorial, you'll need the stream effects plugin for OBS, which contains the source mirror source. It's critical to this effect, the link will be in the description. Now I'll just get this out there. The absolute best way to remove light flicker from your lights is by changing the shutter speed of your camera and making sure that the frequency of your camera matches the frequency of your lights. Like if your region runs 60 hertz, use NTSC, and if your region runs 50 hertz, use PAL, you get the gist. But in some of those cases where the camera's sensor read time and the frequency of the lights when they're dimmed doesn't quite match and there's nothing you can do to get it perfectly synced, then this tutorial's for you. So let's go ahead and hop in right into OBS and as you can see, we have these horizontal flickering lines that look absolutely awful. And I'm capturing my camera in 60 FPS but I'm recording in 24, so just ignore that discrepancy because it'd be too fun to explain. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a source mirror. So once we add that, we can go ahead and select our webcam source, which in my case is Blackmagic device. For you, it's probably video capture device. And once we have it added, we're gonna go ahead and go into our filters. And under effect filters, the first thing you're gonna add is a color correction filter. We're gonna go ahead and set this opacity to 50. That's all we're gonna do with it. And then we're going to add a render delay. And this is really the key to the effect. So let's go ahead and increase this until we see the first frame change, which is at 34. And if you're capturing at 60 FPS, the first delayed frame is going to be at 34 milliseconds. If you're capturing at 30 FPS, the first delayed frame is going to be at 67 milliseconds. So just keep that in mind. So as you can see, we've gotten rid of it slightly, but it's still obviously pretty present. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click the source mirror. We're going to copy and duplicate it. And then we're going to go back into the filters and under this color correction, we're going to bring this down to 33. And then on render delay, we're going to increase it to about 66. That's 56. I can math. And there you go. I'm going to go ahead and group these so I can just show you the before and after. And there you go. Now the only real side effect to this is if you notice my hand when I move it, you can see there's a slight ghosting effect and that's because there's multiple instances of the webcam showing up. But if you're not moving a whole lot, then this is not a huge deal. And if you're capturing in 60 FPS, it will be less noticeable than 30 because in 30 frames per second, there's going to be more of a delay. Now I probably wouldn't recommend doing more than two source mirrors because once you start getting a three, four, then the ghosting effect becomes too much and it's just borderline unwatchable. Now one thing to take note of is sometimes the opacity on the color correction filter might need some adjusting so sometimes it might work better at 67 and the second one at 33 if you're doing two source mirrors but watch the flicker on your screen and adjust it to what works best for your setup because it's not a one size fits all. And sometimes the render delay can be slightly different too but typically the numbers are usually very consistent. Again it's all going to depend on the lights you have and the camera you have, how fast it scans, all the ones wonderful heavy jibby jabba jabba is that a star wars reference so that's how you would do a generic fix over the whole screen now let's just say you only wanted to do a part of your screen that was flickering or somewhere in the background that was flickering what do you do open resolve of course you didn't seriously think i would go through a video without using resolve right so the only thing you really need to do is record a quick snippet of your scene in OBS and import that into Resolve. And once you import that into a timeline, what you can do is right click on your clip and just make it a fusion clip and go into fusion. You can also do this in the color page, but I find it slightly easier to do it in fusion. So now that we're in fusion, all we have to do is create two backgrounds and the second background that goes into the foreground, we're going to change that color to white and then we're going to add a polygon mask onto that second background. And then we'll just pick the spot on our screen where we want that mask to be. Now I'm holding my middle mouse button to be able to click and drag the window. So I can just make an arbitrary mask here. And then all I have to do is just drag the output of this merge node into the media out. And now we have our mask. So we're actually not gonna go to the deliver page, we're actually gonna go to the color page. And what we're gonna do with this is we're going to go to view, stills, grab still. You can also press control alt G on your keyboard. And then you click on gallery 
and you'll see that we made a still here. And all we have to do with this is right click, export, and then title our mask. So now we're back here in OBS. I'm changing my camera settings on the fly. Don't judge me. I see you judging me. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on each of our source mirrors and then we'll add our image mask that we just created. And you do that on each individual source mirror source. And if you have them in a group, do not place them on the group. It does a weird thing for some reason. Don't ask me why, it just does. But yeah, now you can see it applies it. So hopefully this tutorial gave you a whole new outlook on life because I know it sure didn't for me. I also want to make you aware that I am a maw partner. So it would make my heart happy if you use my fur... <laughs> Nope, not doing that. But you can use my referral link in the description and use the code ma 10 at checkout for 10% off. Hashtag not sponsored yet. But you can actually try one of these tubs for free if you just pay shipping. Not a bad deal. Definitely worth a try if you haven't tried it before. Man, if I actually had a sponsored part in a video, I would do terrible. But anyways, catch me on stream. I hope to see you there. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment. And I'm hopefully pumping more videos out in the near future. And press all the fancy buttons if you want to see more content. This is Camera Tim, signing out. It is a step stool this time.